Hi, and welcome back to this tutorial video for our C5DK blog package. This video is part of a series, and I urge you to see the other videos before continuing with this one. This video is about finishing up the installation, and actually make the blog work. Because I am installing the package, on an Elemental demonstration site, the Elemental blog page is already created for us. But you can of course make your own page the way you want it. What we are going to do now, is to make our C5DK blog package, aware of the blog page. To do that, we need to go to the dashboard, and find the C5DK blog menu. At the moment, there is no blog routes listed. That is because we need to add a blog route first. Let's click on the add blog route button. Here you will see the site map of your site. You simply choose the page you want as your blog route page. And then click on the save button. We have now added a blog route page. And you can now choose, which user groups that will have permission to use the blog, under this blog route. And you can choose which page type you want to use as your blog page. We will of course choose the page we created in an earlier video. The last thing you can choose is the topic attribute. In this example we are going to use the tropic list created by the elemental theme, when the site was installed. But I will walk you through the topic system in detail in another video. I have chosen to do this because the topics is part of Concrete 5, and the way to set it up, can seem a little complicated. But let's finish up by clicking on the save button. The C5DK blog route has now been created, and it is about time to go to the blog page to make some configurations there. As you see, the page is already populated, with the demonstration content from the elemental theme. So let's put the page in edit mode, and change it to work, with our C5DK blog package. You simply click on the little pencil, on the editor bar. The page is now in edit mode. And I will start with changing how the page list is working. There is a few things that need attention. First we need to make it look for our new C5DK blog page type. Remember that we created this in an earlier video. I also want it to look beneath this page, because you could have other blog routes on your site. And I want it to show a thumbnail for each blog. This will make sense when you begin to use the blog. This should do it. We are now ready to save the page list and continue. Just click on the save button. As you see now, there is no blogs present. That is because we did not write any blogs yet. We could add a block template, but I would like to do that a little later. Now to one of the most important things. We need to add our C5DK blog button block. This block will add all the blog functionality to the page. Let's put it here in the sidebar. As you see, it does not show a lot. That is because it will only be visible for users with permissions to blog. Let's save our changes. To understand why it is not visible, you should remember, that we created a user group in an earlier video. And we told our blog root, that it should use this user group, to give blog users access to blog. We have done it this way, to be able to let blog users, create blog pages, without being an administrator. But again, it will make sense in a moment. Ok, let's try out the blog. We need to log out the administrator and then log in with the blog user. Just a moment. Remember that we created a blog user with a username my blog user. This user is already in the blog users group, and by that, this user will be able to blog. So, let's log in, with this user. As you see, there is not any concrete 5 editor bar. That is because this user is not a member of the administrators group. But, this user will have permissions to write in the blog. Let's try it out. Here. You now see the blog button. That means that we have permission to blog. Let's click on the new post button. You will now see a form, where you can write your blog entry. Let's give it a title. Let's write, my very first blog created in C5DK blog.
And now, let's write our blog description. Oops, the description is a little long. We have made a character counter for the title and the description. This helps you to keep best practice, to accommodate Google search rules. If the number turns red, then your text is too long. Now, let's add our blog content. In this example, I am just using some lorem ipsum text. Let me just copy it from the clipboard. Just a moment. I would also like to have a picture in my blog. We have actually made an image manager for each blog user. That way, the pictures uploaded by one blog user, will be private for that blog user, and each blog user will only see their own pictures. So, let's upload a picture. Just a moment. The picture is now uploaded, and we can pick it for our blog. The picture is now inserted. Now, let's finish up our blog. We can add some tags, but I will not do this for this demonstration. And we can also choose a topic from the topic list. I will explain more about this in another video. And last, let's add a thumbnail. I will just use the same picture as before. You will be able to crop the picture with our built-in image cropper. This is a neat feature that we have built into the C5DK blog package. And it is unique to our package. Let's post our blog. We have now created our first blog entry. And, as you see, the page type we created in an earlier video, has now been used, and populated with the blog we just wrote. And you will now see, that the blog button has changed. You are now able to write a new blog edit this blog, and delete this blog. Kind of neat, isn't it? Let's go back to the blog list page. You can now see, that the page list has been populated by our new blog. You have now experienced how the blog works. And I hope, that all the things that we have been through, now makes more sense. I hope that you understand the importance of the blog button block, but now, let's go back to our newly created blog. And let's look a little more on the blog buttons. Let's edit this blog post. You can always go back and edit your blog, and you can of course also delete a blog entry. But one thing that you can't edit is the title. We have blocked that because the title is closely bound together with the page properties on your site. Just think about if you could change it, your search engine optimization would get broken. And that is not a good thing, you can of course do it as an administrator. Ok, let's cancel this. The blog is now done, but let's go back as the administrator, and see a little about some settings for the blog. Just a moment. Ok, let's first go to the blog page. The first thing I want to do, is to change a little on the page list block. So, let's put the page into edit mode. Now, let's change the template for the page list block. Some of the settings here is related to the elemental theme. Let's take it off. As you see, it only changes a little bit. Let's add one of our templates. I will first put the styling back I removed before. But now I will add one of the templates. As you see, a new posted byline, has been added to the page list element. This should give you some idea about how you can apply different looks to a block. But of course only if the templates exists for the block. The same is the case for the topics block. Also here you are sometimes able to change the look of the block. But again, only if styling and templates exists in the block. But, let's stop here. Let's save our changes to the page. Let's go to our new blog entry page. You could also change the styling and templates here. But remember, all blocks that we added to this page type, was added through the stacks. If you want to change things here, 
You can only do this through the Stacks page in the dashboard. But we have added some styling settings to the C5DK blog settings page. You can change the font size and color for the posted by line. We have done this because not all Concrete 5 users will be able to program a new template to one of our blocks. And you should of course be able to change these things for your site. But I will explain this in another video. But now, I would like to explain you a little more about the page list block. As this is the elemental theme, with Concrete 5 demonstration content. You will hear on the home page, see a latest blog section. Let's change that to show our new blog. We put the page into edit mode, and click on the thumbnail. And choose edit block. We need it to show page types for our new blog, namely the C5DK blog page type. Then click save. We also need to do the same for the text, as this is also a page list. It is now done, and we just need to save our changes for the page. Hopefully this will give you some idea on how the page list works. We are now finished installing our new blog. But I think you understand, that our blog package is more than just a blog. It is more a toolbox to help you to create a great blog experience for your site. We will still create more video tutorials, as new functionality appears. And we might also create new videos on request. You can already see a few more after this video, for you to get deeper knowledge, about for example, the topic system and tags. So for now, I do not have anything more to tell you. You should also now be busy writing your new blogs. So thanks for watching these tutorials. Bye for now.